Right, welcome back to your online darts. We're here in the Big Apple, the city doesn't sleep, and we've got Nathan Aspinall. Nathan, enjoying it so far? Well, now I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I was, we'll come on to that. In <laughs> yeah, a we had a bit of a nightmare <laughs> getting here, but uh, yeah, I'll, it, this is definitely a pinch me moment. Every time you come back to New York, it's you know how far darts has come. It's unbelievable, you know, testament to, to the players, the PDC, for putting these amazing shows on. And yeah, I'm looking forward to playing in Madison Square Gardens again on Friday. And you know, hopefully the walk on is as good as last year. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting going. And you know, I've got another day day off today before um, you know we crack on with the darts. You touched on it there. Nightmare getting here, obviously. Esther problems. What's that like being stuck at an airport saying you can't travel? It, it yeah, I've never had it before. Um, so obviously driving down me and Kirsty, we're like everything sorted. You know, as you do, you think, you know, I'm not in, I'm not round the corner. Yeah. I've got to make sure I get everything. Esther sort, yeah, everything's done, and we got there, and because I got a new passport two weeks ago, because mine was full from all the stamps. Um, you have to do a new Esther, which I wasn't aware. <laughs> So yeah, we um, went to check in. My Esther wasn't valid, so I applied for a new one and they shut the gates at 13.30. Came through at 13.32, didn't it? Absolutely raging, <laughs> but uh, we went home, had a day, night at home and we flew the day after, but we're here now and uh, yeah, really happy to be here. Yeah, just being here in, in this city, you've done all the World Series, but there's something magical about just this one, isn't there? That sets it apart from the rest. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we, we walked around uh, Central Park yesterday, me and Kirst, and it's like you're looking in the billboards with the darts on and it's like, how have we got here? Do you know what I mean? It's 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 just amazing. And um, yeah, I think this is my, one of the fa my favorite places to play because it's like you watch, you see Times Square and films all your life. You know, we, we were actually joking, we seen a, a kid's school bus. Oh, it's a Simpsons bus. Yeah, you know what I mean? Little yeah, like you see all this stuff and, and you're there playing darts in probably one of the greatest arenas in the world. So. Yeah, every time you come here, it's pinching moments and it, it, it just amazes me back. Well, on that, what's it like from the little lad from Stockport, as you keep calling yourself? <laughs> the chap from Stockport. <laughs> playing at the most iconic arena in the world. Is that like, hang on a minute, pinch yourself, what's going on here? Yeah, it is. You know, obviously I was here last year, so it's probably not the same as last year. Um, but it is, it's just amazing. You know, when you get to, to play in all these amazing arenas all over the world, it's... Yeah, you look how far you've come in life and uh, how far darts has come. You know, even from when I've been playing the last six years, it's, it's unbelievable the places we're going to. Uh, even on the Euro Tour, you know, we're in Switzerland now and, you know, I don't think it's long before we get into places like France and, you know, all the different yeah. countries that we've never been at. So, again, I keep saying it, it's testament to the players to for performing all the time and also the PDC behind the scenes working hard, getting in, in these amazing places. and. Yeah, it, it quality and um, yeah, I'm glad they keep inviting me. <laughs> Where next? Where would you like to go next? As, as, as a darts fan yourself, what area of the, the world that we haven't been to yet would you like to go in the world? Series? I know you, I know they've been, but I'd like I'd like to give China a crack again. You yeah. know, I never played there. Um, I think you look at the soft tip out there. Yeah, it is mental. And obviously, I'm with Target, and you know, I was out with a meal last night with, with Gary and Target, and he was just explaining to me how big his warehouse is and how many staff he's got in China. Yeah, um, it's massive out there. Um, you know, we're, we're steel tip players. I appreciate that soft tip, but you know what? We're all professionals. We're good enough. I'm sure we can probably play soft tip. You know, I don't think I've ever played it, but you know, maybe mix up a little bit. You know, maybe maybe put a soft tip tournament on out in China. I don't yeah. know, but. I, I, I've never been to that part of the world. Um, I'd love to go out there. You touched on it earlier, the growth of the sport in the last two years has been ridiculous. And yeah. you've been part of that journey. That must be a nice feeling to hang on a minute. I played my part in the growth in this. Yeah, I think obviously the last four months has gone daft. We all know why that is. <laughs> but yeah, the last four months has gone ridiculous. But I think prior to that, you know, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for the, the JDC in Stockport. Uh, an ambassador for the the darts disability league yeah. in Stockport. It's the biggest one in in the UK. Um, and yeah, it is nice to see all these kids. You know, I've got a massive following of, of kids, and you know, being a father myself, I find it really important to to look after me the fans and you know to give them the time of day. I'm one. I'm not one of them guys to turn my nose up on an autograph or anything like that. Anyone there that wants any advice, I'm always there to to be on hand. So. I think it's amazing, and like I say, to be part of that, to see the growth, to see some of the players coming through now that you know I've either heard of before, like Luke. To be fair, you know yeah. I heard of him before anyone else. I knew how good he was, uh, or see young lads that you know I met them when they were 15 at the JDC. They're now on the youth tour. They're now winning youth tours. I'm yeah. like, it's amazing. You know what I mean? I've been part of that journey. So yeah, it's amazing, and um, yeah, you know, hopefully, long may continue. 
been a roller coaster weekend for yourself. How much did you enjoy Wembley? Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I went. So glad I went. Obviously, I said before Smithy beat me that I'm only going to pull out the Euro Tour and go Wembley for win. I lost, but I still pulled out. <laughs> I went, but yeah, I went with my mate. He was about, well, me and my mate went, um, but we met up with probably about 15 lads from Stockport. Unbelievable day. Um, I had a bet on us to win as well. Oh, no. uh, a decent bet as well, so I was buzzing about that. But yeah, fantastic day, great. You know, Wembley looked after me. We, we had that club Wembley, they looked after me. And yeah, it was an amazing day. Um, can't really remember much of the game, <laughs> even deadly honest. I think everyone knows what I'm like. But yeah, quality day and um, just nice to see us lift a trophy. What's this block of World Series going to do for you? Is this the springboard that you need ahead of the match play? <clears throat> yeah, I think I was talking about this to Kirsty. Um, on our way back from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy with how I'm playing. I think the game is so poor. It might deadly appear. I don't think I played well since winning the match play. Yeah. I think I played well in New Zealand when Rob beat me in the final. But since then, I've played awful. I've had a terrible 12 months. Um, you know, just missed out on the Premier League. And I think that's a testament to my grit and determination to, to win, yeah. even when I'm not playing well. But. You know, I think you look at it since the match play, you know, last 16 in the Grand Slam, first round, didn't qualify for the players, first round of the Worlds. I think I think maybe got beat first round in the Euros, um, second round of the UK Open, got to the semis of the Masters, but didn't play well, not play well in Premier League, can't get past the second round in the Pro Tour, getting beat first round in the Euro Tours. I'm just, I'm just not, not happy with my game and, you know, I, I've been tired, you know, the last six months, 12 months. I've had a lot of stuff going on at home, um, moving house, etc. trying to get my kids in new schools. Um, it's been hard. It's been a tough 12 months for me, but everything's right now. The Premier League's done. I'm looking forward to getting myself back up there where I belong. You know, my pro tour ranking is absolutely abysmal. Um, so I've just said to her, I, said, I, need to, I need to work hard. I've got to start working hard. There's so many players coming through now, you know, one that springs to mind, Richie Eddowes. You know yeah, I mean? 100%. They're so hungry to get what we've got. And um, yeah, OK, I'm in a great position world ranking wise, but, you know, it only lasts for two years. And, you know, as quickly as you get to the top, you can fall down. And I think Smithy's seen that, you know, Smithy's in a bit of trouble. As much as my mate, you know, it won't happen. But, you know, he can fall outside the top 16. Peter Wright's the same. You know, Van Gogh is now not a seed on the, on the Euro Tour. The, all these things happen because we get complacent and I've been complacent the last 12 months thinking me ability alone will just keep, yeah. keep me up there and you know reality check you're not that good Nath do you know what I mean you, yeah. you have to work hard and um, I think it, I've learned now that if I don't pull my finger out I won't be in New York next year I won't be in the Premier League next year and I love all this stuff so um, yeah big reality check and I'm going to work hard and get back to where I belong because you know, I'm sick of seeing all my fans disappointed that I played poor or I've lost, and that's not me. I'm a winner, not a loser. So, hopefully, you know, these this little chunk, these next three or four weeks, um, can get me getting back up there. I'm actually going to the Pro Tours in Germany, which I never thought would happen in my life. I know. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go there, try and get a bit more game experience, uh, like practice, and uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, get myself ready for the match play. Hopefully, have a fantastic run again there. Hopefully, defend the title, and. Be my best, you know. I'm winning games, but not playing well, and you know I'm not I'm nowhere near me, me A game, nowhere near me B game, and it's quite disappointing. It, it hurts, so uh, I'm going to work hard and get myself back where I belong. It's interesting that you talk like that because many players would bury their head in the sand and not admit they've been complacent and just go, ah, I sort it. What's that like when that moment hits and think, hang on a minute? I'm not the player I should be. And is that, is that a tough thing to comprehend to start with? I think, well, look, at, I think, go back to football, look at Rashford of England. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He'd been dropped. I think he'd been the kick up the backside he's needed and he played quality in the final. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, I think, you know, we are, it's hard to get to the top and there's a reason we're at the top because we, we win stuff. But then we get all these amazing yeah. Australia, Bahrain, New York. It does come easy. If that sounds yeah, no, about being a big, no, it, it kind exactly of comes mean, yeah. yeah. So you kind of forget where, what got you here in the first place. Putting the practice in, tipping up to the pro tours, winning pro tours, you know, going to everything. And it's hard when you're in the Premier League. It is hard, but yeah, I've realised that I've got to start working harder. I'm, I'm a massive family man. That's my biggest problem. Yeah. I hate being away from home. I know Smith is the same, and I think Luke's seen it a bit. Luke Humphries, to be yeah. fair. Um, when we, when you got kids, when you've been kids into the mix and. You know, exit, you're coming home for one day and your kids go, you're going away again. It's hard to keep yeah, going. No. And that's why I pull out of a lot of stuff because I want to spend time with my family. But I've got to realise that 
why did I do this in the first place? Yeah. Well, I did this in the first place so my kids have a better life, so they don't have to worry about getting the property ladder and stuff like that. So that's what I said to Kirsty the other day. I was like, you know what, I'm going to work hard these next six months and, uh, you know, hopefully win the world and I can spend all the time on one. We can place it again. <laughs> Dave, it's an absolute pleasure catching up with you here yeah, in New cheers, York, mate. mate. I always appreciate your time, mate. Thank Thanks you very much. Cheers, pal. Cheers, mate.